hey remember this unit yeah the one with the hunting issue that wouldn't hold load well finally back to pull the injector pump off it now 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 i know you're you're already scrolling down and hit the comments going, what a dumb SOB freaking trying to prime it off like that. Now check this out. Made a little bracket to try to push off the shaft right there. And that freaking pucker is not coming off. I mean, I've, I've got the old justifier out to freaking make it work. And she's, I mean, she's stuck on there and yes, also, here's the nut. <laughs> so, yeah. And I know you like looking at the stuff, so that's the new one. And I don't see no snap ring slot on the shaft. So, <sighs> son of a bitch. So, I'll get back to you in a second. I gotta pull some of this stuff off so I can get a better string with a sledgehammer. I don't know. Oh. My, my pee pee just shriveled a little bit thinking about that swinging on a freaking injector pump anyway see you in a little bit all right i got it off now it's just a tapered fit so left uh an apprentice mark on the radiator that's okay and one more right over there i can clean up before i leave yep it's off oh you guys like carnage there's nothing on the nothing on the shaft, so fun times. Anyway, I'm gonna put the that one on there. Make it make sure it's timed right too. I'm not a dummy. And then um, go from there. I'll see you in a few seconds. Unless you wanna look at this sexy pump that somehow the, <laughs> they didn't attach the tag right to it, which is it's kind of funny. Anyway, see you in a sec. Alright, just got the pump, new pump installed. Got everything bolted in. Um, actually, I'm looking at this right now. I'm going to ch double check these bolts because I'm here and why not. Um, didn't install the fan, fan shroud, or anything like that because I might have goofed on one thing and let it jump a tooth on the uh, timing gear in here so if I did I did if I did if it if it did it did and it didn't didn't um, so like everything else if it jumped a tooth it's either gonna start up and run crappy or it's not gonna start up at all so I figure what the hell let it let it pit let the pig eat and um, see what's got going on so uh, see you on the other side I don't know if I mentioned this, but um, I have the two front injectors loose, cracked, and basically I'm going to have to crank the shit out of it until it gets primed. The throttle is not set yet, so it's going to idle. They are, should idle, I should say, and you never know what it's going to do. Um, yeah, I checked those bolts. They're all freaking uh, three lug logo tights, so yep. Yeah, um, God, I hope it doesn't <laughs> die not job timing because I want to go home. Anyway, let's get this show on the road. I'll get back to you when it starts uh, popping. All right, so just uh, cranking it got to pop a couple times. It seemed like I have control over the throttle or over the the kill switch, and uh, tighten the two injectors, and now I'm gonna light it off. Um, I still got the start, you know, the whole mess of the fuel system now starting the diesel for the first time jitters. So uh, yeah, don't worry, I am nervous about it. I don't know why, but that's just me. Okay, that was me killing it. Let's try again. Hey, I missed something. Uh, 
Yeah, I might have to fix that. I got a couple things to button up here, but yeah, I'm gonna bring this thing up to RPM, put the shroud on it, and uh, fan, of course, and uh, gonna load bank it. But I promise you, you'll see me before I load bank it, which will be like right now. So, day gave away into night, um, and I got the pump done, everything works uh, perfect, but the unit's not producing voltage. Fire it up and it's giving me an auxiliary fault flashing light. Check the frequency on it. It's producing uh, like like 61.8 hertz, which for me I find perfect. Um, I like to run a little, because it's a mechanical governor on it, I want to run it a little higher so it can droop into speed once it hits full load. So once that full load, it probably should bring about 59.5 hertz around that ballpark. Anywho, it's, um, so, Got no voltage, so give you a quick explanation of what I did. Went back here, did the flashlight test on the alternator. Um, it's it's uh, it's pretty simple. Basically, you pull off the um, the LED board, and then I'll expose this photocoupler board, shine a, an, an incandescent flashlight at it, and it should make the voltage go to ceiling on the alternator. It didn't. Went in there, checked the windings. The windings seem good. The SCR is shot. So we're going to have to replace the SCR before we're able to load bank it and confirm 100% that the pump's good. Pump is, um, new pump is doing its job. And that, yep, that's about it for today. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, hop my truck, space out for a second to do a bunch of paperwork, and then uh, start heading home. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. I had a great day hanging out with you guys. Bye.